Hi, this is Gali Gopar. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Today, I'm going to be talking about coughing and intense chest, chest congestion and how nutrition can help. Coughing is a natural reflex that helps clear your throat and your lungs of irritants and mucus. However, coughing for too long can lead to coughing fits. Coughing and intense chest congestion can be triggered by colds, viral infections, allergies, asthma, or also even a sinus infection. And coughing can also cause pain in your neck muscles and uh, because it compresses your larynx, your voice box, when you cough forcefully. And this can uh, increase the tension on the muscles surrounding this area, leading to even more coughing and longer coughing episodes since these muscles no longer have time to relax. Other effects of coughing uh, include feeling exhausted, headaches, sore throat, and nasal congestion. But the good news is that you can ease your coughing naturally without taking medications that may have side effects such as drowsiness. The following foods uh, will help alleviate coughing and chest congestion. The first one is peppermint tea. Peppermint tea can soothe coughing immediately and be used as a therapy to address the underlying condition causing the coughing. Aromatic herbs like peppermint contain menthol which exhibit antiviral and antibacterial properties, making peppermint tea a potential treatment for respiratory ailments. Very good one. The second food is honey, uh, especially natural honey like honeycomb. Honey is a natural cough suppressant and it's considered better than medic medication in reducing cough frequency. In a study, researchers found that giving children natural honey for up to three days was more effective in relieving their coughing symptoms than taking medis medications. Now, turmeric is the third food. Uh, turmeric can be, is, it, first of all, it's known as relaxing coughing uh, muscles. It's uh, known to reduce chest congestion and reduce irritation and boost the immunity. Turmeric has a uh, potent anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, antiviral, and antipyretic, which is uh, um, when you have fever and it also is anti-fatigue uh, properties all these properties these properties help effectively manage the causes as well as the symptoms of coughing you can take turmeric in powdered form to make a tea it can be taken as a supplement or as a food it can be chewed uh, raw completely raw it has a strong taste but it can also be made into a paste and you can add to it honey or it can be taken as a as an oil the oil has been shown to remove sputum, uh, relieve coughing, and prevent asthma significantly. Turmeric is, re is just one uh, consideration to make. People with anemia should avoid uh, turmeric. Also, the, the fourth food is soup. Soup is considered a comfort food, a food and it is well known uh, uh, as a home remedy for coughing and congestion. A clear vegetable soup with lentils is also rich in protein and in the B vitamins, iron, magnesium, potassium, zinc, all of these are found in, in lentils and lentil soup. Um, all of them are important for the immune system. To make the soup even more tastier and more potent at relieving coughing, add ingredients such as turmeric, ginger, garlic, which also have anti-inflammatory properties. Now the fifth food is green tea. Green tea has many, many ox uh, antioxidants and is a potent anti-inflammatory as well. Uh, it helps with coughing, plus provides relief from coughing without causing drowsiness, such as some medications where you can't drive afterwards. Now you wanna gargle green tea. It's very beneficial in helping reducing coughing caused by uh, endotracheal uh, intubation. Uh, when, when you have to go through an operation, sometimes people find themselves coughing a lot and uh, having hoarseness um, after the operation. Well, gargling green tea has been shown to improve this, um, especially the coughing. Um, it also is very beneficial in helping infections, viral infections. The catechins found in green tea, especially EGCG, is the most abundant catechin in green tea, has been reported to have potential anti-influenza viral activity and uh, it helps um, prevent the coughing that comes from viral infections. EGCG and ECG inhibit viral RNA activity which stops viral propagation 
growth and development. Gargling is the act of washing your mouth and your throat with fluid kept in motion inside your mouth while you are still breathing um, um, and making gargling sounds. This is how gargling is, um, is best done. Now, there's more foods. The pineapples, for example, are rich in enzymes that help loosen congestion in the lungs, which uh, can prevent coughing episodes. They are packed full of bromelain enzymes and vitamin C. It is also an, uh, bromelain is also an anti-inflammatory for your throat, and so is vitamin C. Um, it has been, uh, they have been proven to be an effective treatment for bronchitis, um, uh, sinusitis, and uh, following surgical interventions. So you definitely want to add uh, pineapple, especially the stem part of the pineapple is very, very rich in bromelain. Now garlic is another food. Um, the common symptoms of colds or nasal stuffiness include nasal discharge, sneezing, sore throat, and coughing. Garlic helps ease these symptoms and coughing and coughing fits as well um, because of its antimicrobial, antiviral, um, and antiviral properties. Uh, garlic also has anti-inflammatory properties which help with the effectiveness of this treatment. Now the last food is apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar made, made from fermentable carbohydrates that are found in apples has potent antimicrobial activity and can help alleviate coughing and manage um, mucus buildup. In fact, research shows that apple cider vinegar has such powerful antimicrobial effects that it can even treat antibiotic resistance E. coli and MRSA. Um, apple cider vinegar also has a powerful smell that may help loosen congestion. <laughs> now, apple cider vinegar should not be taken undi undiluted as it can burn your throat. Add two tablespoons um, of apple cider vinegar into a tall glass of water and you can also add honey to improve its flavor and to allow the soothing effect of honey uh, on coughing. You may also gargle the vinegar, uh, the diluted vinegar in your mouth and throat. But I do not recommend it as a regular treatment because of the possible effects that it can lead to tooth erosion and, um, and other um, problems that it can cause if used regularly on a regular basis. Still, as a one-off or as a, as a treatment period, it is very, very beneficial. So I hope this has helped. I hope this will help you relieve your coughing for any uh, reason that, it, that you have the coughing um, symptoms and I wish you much health and happiness. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel if you want anything to do with health and wellness and how to improve it. And also please visit my website, thegorillediet.com to help you move your health and wellness, help you lose weight, achieve the health that you desire. Thank you very much for joining.